the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. We know the um, real estate market is, um, if you were buying or even renting, is insane yeah. here in Perth. And then what is happening in Sydney is even crazier. Firstly, people's rents are going up like... Oh, yeah, Without astronomically. Notice, $500 yeah. a week. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and they're not even getting any notice. There is um, uh, one place that has been advertised um, for $300 a week. Um, this is in an apartment. Um, it is a... What the, suburb do we know? Um, it is in... Is it fancy? It's near, near, next to World Square. Huh. World Square? Yeah. Is that in a suburb? Yeah. Come so yeah, Harry's going to look for yeah. it. You continue, mate. Yeah. Um, so anyway, um, basically it's an enclosed balcony. Like a balcony. By enclosed, what do you mean? Like enclosed because they've put a tarp off, tarp up to, <laughs> that's not to, that's to, the roof. to to stop the outside from being inside. That's that's <laughs> not that's not first of all, that's not enclosed. Enclosed yeah. balcony would mean that they've put yeah. in windows and stuff so that yeah. it's enclosed. There's yeah. yes. actual structure around it. Yeah. A tarpaulin is not yeah. a structure. Oh, actually, you now, mean picking The up. best thing about the balcony, um, aka the bedroom, um, is its city views, which now you can't get because they've put a tarp up to make it a room. Uh, uh, it's um, on the buy, uh, the buy, sell and give away Facebook page. <laughs> and um, here's the ad. Man, private room, Sydney, CBD, one boy only, $300 a week. Quick response. It's got a phone number. Please kindly send me your information. New, quiet and clean apartment. Well, why are you talking about the apartment? <laughs> on the balcony. Next to World Square, only five minutes walk to Town Hall, yes. Chinatown, so UTS. It's right in the smack bang. Paddy's the Market, yes. Coles and Woolworth. <laughs> Just one of them. <laughs> All bill included, fast NBN Wi-Fi and rice, basic cleaning stuffs and cooking stuffs, min, min for um, stay month, um, prefer long-term and less cook, $800 deposit and $200 bond key, three-week notice move out. <laughs> and then some questions. Yes. Okay, Will yes. you bring your own furniture, big electronic, bike, and then please name your nationality, which is actually, you can't do that. No, I wouldn't well, have I mean, so. to be honest, you can't do any of this. There's a lot, there's a lot <laughs> you shouldn't be able to do any of this. It's unbelievable. So it's, somebody's subletting. This isn't the landlord, presumably. This is the the, the, yeah. the, the existing tenant it's saying, you can rent my balcony so for $300 a, a balcony. week. Doesn't it make you feel, though, we are surrounded by balconies in this studio right now. It's a great now. point. Looking at here, we could make a balcony. That is a great point. point. Sean. The Airbnb that could be going on right now. We could be watching yes. a family of four right now yes. out there. And sure. And Ellie, we can provide rice. Ellie's got balcony <laughs> access from I'll her office the now because they put those doors in. She has. So, that's easily I know. Oh, my God. Airbnb, the Rapunzel experience. <laughs> Imagine it. Uh, when we were at uni, uh, my uh, housemate, she wanted a boyfriend to move in, but he, she didn't want him to move into um, the bedroom. So he moved into the dining room and he, we ended up putting, and we, none of us, he didn't even ask actually, he just moved into the dining room. So why didn't he move into her room? Because she didn't want him in there. It was a very weird okay. scenario. That makes and no okay, sense. So, that, well, right, so, yeah. so, so then they end up putting a curtain right up um, uh, across the wall. Um, curtain. Okay. And it, we had to put it just behind the fridge so we could access the fridge. And it, he would complain every time we'd go to the fridge because the fridge light would turn on. <laughs> Like a spotlight on him. And didn't you live in a dining room? I lived in a dining room. My first share house when I moved, because I went to uni in Melbourne, and my first share house, I was still 17. I hadn't turned 18 yet. And I so moved she hadn't into, learned about bedrooms by then? Moved into a dining room <laughs> because it was cheap. And yeah. with, there were th- four of us that lived in, sorry, four others that lived in the house. So there was a couple and then two singles. Yeah. And they decided that to make um, ends meet, they would rent out the dining room. It was a separate room, but there was a servery hatch between the kitchen and, yes. and the dining room that we had to board up so that they weren't making cups of tea staring in at me while I was sleeping. Looking at your boobs. It was just... It was quite a big room by 70s house standards, yes. but, um, but so it was the dining room. room. Sure. I, I love them. One of my mates lives down the street, actually. He was living with my friends in um, London and he lived in the kitchen. He slept every single night in the kitchen, thin in London, because everyone just piles themselves yes. in. But I just remembered, a, a mate of mine, Dave, he lived with me in uh, Applecross. We rented a house together. Three bedrooms, but the the garage had been t- turned into a bedroom. It had been carpeted. So Dave started the first week in there, but the fleas bit the hell out of him. As it turns out, the people 
people had their dogs sleeping in there before, so he moved out. So then there was only three of us. Okay, we want to talk to you about when your bedroom was not a bedroom. I don't think it happens much nowadays. Or maybe it does because of the rental crime. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, there was a story years ago about someone sleeping in a bathroom. That was their bedroom, was a bathroom. (laughs) We're going to give somebody um, uh, $150 to spend at a loft Perth. Bring lofty views to your next conference or event. Discover Perth's best kept secret at aloftperth.com.au. We've been to a loft. It's amazing. Yeah, that view from up there is unbelievable. Special guest has just dropped by. Hello. Early. Early. What's your name? Hello, my name is John McManus. It is too. Hi, Hi everybody. Johnny Hi, McManus. Rose. It's Rose. <laughs> I, mean, um, Hi, I once went to a friend's place in America. Yeah. And uh, I said, uh, we were getting divvied up into rooms. My sisters were put in a room. I was travelling with them. And I said, oh, I'll sleep in this room just adjacent to their room that they're in if that's okay yes. and the owners of the house said you can't do that and I was very adamant look it's my sister's it's fine yeah. I'll just be in this room they're in the bigger room I'll just take the slightly smaller room off the end and the woman finally just went that's not a room what it's a that? wardrobe <laughs> They had such an enormous house <laughs> that their walk-in wardrobe, wardrobe, wardrobe. And they were disgusted in you. Uh, and I yeah. said, I have to sleep in this wardrobe tonight <laughs> because I need to tell people one day <laughs> on radio <laughs> that I slept in a wardrobe yes. that was big enough to be a bedroom. Oh, that's what we're talking about. Courtney, hello. <laughs> Hi, Courtney. Hi, Courtney. We've had a tale of, you know, a balcony with a tarp over the top of it being rented out for 300 bucks. What have you slept in that wasn't technically a bedroom? So it wasn't me, but this was through my work. But we had to go out and do a quote, and this woman had all these beds set up in her garage, and, like, people were sleeping in it. Like, she lived in the house, and it's like she set up, leased out her garage for people to, you know, camp out and sleep in. And I was like, oh, my God, and, like, she never had credit cards. She saw, like, cash, like, in places, like, oh. under that and stuff and... Yeah. So, and like, then, so, like so prof- no professional squatting. Yeah, yeah. like, so yeah. not like an Airbnb situation. Like, what, were they students, international students or something? I don't know. We just saw all the beds. And, like, we had to go back for something. She didn't want to come past the gate, like, her gate out the front. And oh. Like, how many? Like, you can fit a lot of beds in Yeah, that's right. Garage. So full dormitory, basically. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. I'm oh. sorry. That seems like an organ farm. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, well like, it sounds like a, a cash, cash farm because she was paying for everything right. in cash. How many people's kidneys were taken <laughs> in that garage? What do people put cash underneath their um, mattresses for? We first, hear it all the time. First place you look, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Courtney. Jay, hello. Hello. How are you guys? Hi, Good Jay. Jay. All right. Where have you slept that wasn't technically a bedroom? So my, I used to live in Bridgetown. And we grew up on on five acres, and I've got I've got a, a, a decent sized family. And my dad let my other sister decide to come down and live with us. Yeah. And because it was only three bedrooms, and there were going to be four of us, I got kicked out to the chicken run. <laughs> to a chicken <laughs> run. Chicken run. <laughs> can, you explain, can you explain a chicken run for everyone that don't have a chicken run? So if no one has a chicken run, it's basically you have hen houses where you collect the frickin' eggs. Yes. So a, a wooden structure on a platform, yep. yes? Yep. So Did anyone uh, come did anyone come looking in the morning to see if you'd laid it? <laughs> <laughs> Earn your cake. <laughs> I wish. No, I had to he he said that's where I'm staying and I had to make it look homely, so I had to move the chickens, clean everything out and turn it into wait, a bedroom. Wait, where, where are the chickens go? Yeah, where did the chickens go? Oh, uh, we, I mean, that's our free concern. Range. <laughs> the chickens, they yeah. moved into the oven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jay, so oh, how, Jay, Jay's too good to sleep uh, with the chickens. Uh, yeah. Jay, how does one make the chicken run cosy as a bedroom? Like, what, is, what do we do? Fairy lights. What do we do? Always oh, fairy lights. <laughs> cleaned, it, cleaned it massively yeah. um, and put, put carpets on the floor and got a power. I didn't even have power, so I had to get a power lead stretch all the way to the room. How so long I could have you a win it for? A year. A year? A year. A year. Yeah. Jeez, was there any danger of you getting taken by a fox at any stage? <laughs> Thought I'd be worried about Tell you what, worry. he got a bargain on the feather down pillow. Yeah, though. that's true. That <laughs> true. Soft if he's ever Pull one off. out for the chicken. Thanks, Jay. Sam, hello. Hello. Hi, Hi Sam. Sam. Where did you sleep that I... wasn't a bedroom? Sounds a bit lame after the chicken run. <laughs> that's okay, sweetheart. What do you got? Uh, so it's actually my oldest daughter. I uh, sold my house just before COVID hit. And then the price 
of the market yes. went crazy. And I couldn't afford a four-bedroom home anymore for my kids and uh, my three kids and I. So I've just converted um, a garage in my three-bedroom house and cut a door into the wall and <laughs> she sleeps out there. So a garage, yeah. But, okay. can't, but cut a door into the wall yes. to make yes, it an adjoining right. room to yes, the house. Yes, that's right. How many mattresses do you have in there and is it all in cash? <laughs> <laughs> I do only have one mattress in there. <laughs> yeah, so I for a kid that would be okay. Is the, is the car awesome. still in there? Or, or <laughs> No, I had to cut it in half with a uh, stud wall so the car no longer oh, fits in the garage. Be, oh. Does it still have the roller door? It still has the roller door. <laughs> but that, So she's cut it in half, put in a stud yeah. wall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so the stud wall, um, the, the roller Separates door, it. you can't... Okay, yeah, you can't yeah. see the roller door yeah. from the room. Okay, so on the other side of the roller door, because it's now too shallow to put a car in there, What's what, what are we using that for? <laughs> That's my storage room. That's yeah. where the bikes are. Yeah, and that sounds right. very fancy, though. It does, it's doesn't it? I've got a new house with an adjacent room and Why don't you go with bunk beds? Why don't you get the kids... We all had bunk beds. We had bunk beds, always. Yeah, busy. I know. I don't, girls and boys sharing a room at, in teenage... Time. Yeah, right. Okay. Really yeah, yeah. There's only so much impulse can cover for Yeah, that's short. true. <laughs> that's the least of the concerns. Thank you, Sam. Uh, $150 to spend at a loft. Perth's going to go to Jay living in the chicken run. Well, it has to, doesn't it? Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Time for an official introduction. Oh, wow. Very regal. Our Thanks. favourite cousin. Yay! <laughs> Rose Amazing. McManus Rose. in the house. Now Greetings and salutations, everybody. Rose. The reason we're talking to you is you're, you're doing your show Awesome Sauce as part of Fringe Wells. It kicks off tonight. Yes, yeah. at yeah. Oasis Comedy Club at yes. the Brisbane. I'm very excited about it. Um, it's... Uh, as of yesterday, I think ready to go. <laughs> well, that's great. <laughs> so that's have, you've done it in other places, though. You've been touring. No, this that. is no? this is officially this is the world one. the world premiere tonight. Really? I have been doing little bits, bits, of, bits it, of it, yeah. But um, um, I'm also because it's new. This is all new because I did my Lucy Goosey show last year. Yeah. So any any gigs I have been doing. I, there's a lot of the loosey goosey still going on. Sure. Okay. So this will be tonight the first from start to finish. Good luck, everybody. How does one feel? When... One feels fine yes. until <laughs> one uh, knows that mm. one's wife is coming. <gasps> to... oh, oh, God. Oh, okay. no. Do you talk about her? Does she feature in your material? There is a particular story okay. <laughs> within the first uh, five minutes of <laughs> her. Oh, okay. Tell her to be late. There was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, t- I'm telling her it starts at eight. <laughs> uh, so I, I have had to. Uh, and here's another little twist. That uh, the reason why Tasma is coming because normally she wouldn't come to an opening night of a show. She knows what it's like as a fellow performer. Yeah, yeah. She would come to later in the run, and she came in. And she said, uh, "I'm coming to opening night. There's a bunch of parents from school <laughs> oh, that I caught up with for coffee, and they said that they've bro. all bought tickets. Oh, and no. I said, "That's fine. So I'm going to go with them. However, it's up for opening night." So my wife and a bunch of parents from school are coming tonight. Does she, does she so know? So I'm suddenly going over every, all, every joke I'm doing, going, yes. am, am I slagging off anyone's kid? Am yes. I uh, uh, dissing the school? Are am you? I, it was just, so the show's 12 minutes long. Um, <laughs> no, but yes, having to go through and say to her, okay, now you this remember this thing that happened. Uh, I love how it that... Did ha- it's, 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 and it happened exactly the way I'm it saying it. Like go. This, <laughs> and you come out looking like the good guy. So just... <laughs> and I I do, I do have a crack at the fact that we have mice as pets. But apart from that, okay. oh, that's she's not okay. so bad. Okay. Well, that sounds familiar because when I used to say stuff about Megan, I'd have to go home and then... <laughs> it's too late. Well, yeah, I'm in all sorts. And Collect Nathan's your things parent, off the lawn. Oh. Marley and Brian, they deny everything. They, they, they deny, they they deny like everything. That. That you, when I go around, they go, you're a liar. And my dad says, I'm getting the lawyers on you. Dad apparently has lawyers. <laughs> on retainer. I'm getting the lawyers on you. And then when, I, when I'm at his house now, because I've done it a couple of times, I'm filmed him when he's drunk at the table talking. Right. Just nonsense. Um, anyway, so then every so often he'll fling out of the chair and then knock over his bed and go, you're recording this, I'll get the lawyers <laughs> onto you. <laughs> it's because then people know everything that comes out of my mouth is true about you. Yeah, I mean, so you're keeping it in the show. Brian's legal team must be busy. Oh, yeah, no, we, <laughs> well, I'll be firms. interested to see if that happens, if there's, like, heckling from the audience. Yes, and <laughs> so I'll get my lawyers on you. Maybe my, what if my lawyers, what if your lawyers came to the yes, show? Right. What if your actual, if you had lawyers and they came to watch you perform and you said something that they weren't about happy. the lawyers and you oh, get sued by your 
own lawyers. They just yell, objection! <laughs> and you get sued by your own lawyers. Do you get your own lawyers to defend you? Yes. Who, no, you have to get someone no, else. No, no, they'd rather pay someone else. Yeah, that's they? right. Oh, I like um, Rove, I remember one incident years ago when Hughes' wife oh, yeah. secretly went to one of his shows and then secretly wrote a review for, for the Herald that's Sun. That's a very holy thing to do. Yes. yes. <laughs> And he had no idea she was even there. And he was telling a lot of stories about her at the time. Would you rather not know that your wife is in the audience and she be there? Or would you rather know that she's there? If someone's coming, I'd rather know that yes. that they are there. Just so it's not in your head afterwards. Um, but I know Husey in particular, like, that's what he does. He just talks about yes. anything that's happened in, in his life. He got in big trouble once for doing material... Uh, on a Monday morning when it's after the weekend, I've had yep. nothing. Yes. I, I, you know, my head's not in the game. What have I got? And told a story about a Bucks night that a friend of ours had had on the Friday or Saturday, which it may have involved uh, scantily clad ladies. What? had a Bucks night? And there was... Um, <laughs> my mum was there. Yeah, she was. <laughs> her, her lawyer's had a great time. <laughs> but basically uh, got got in trouble for the fact that from the groom-to-be... Oh, yeah, you broke saying, the bro code. It's, it's not about what you're saying, because f- Husey's like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah you know, my wife knew I was there. like, yeah, but my Mine wife didn't, didn't know... <laughs> About my pubic hair being set on fire, and <laughs> what are we doing here? Oh. So, you know, it's always that's why you never tell Husey what you're up to. Yeah. It's about okay, you can use mm. that. Mm. He's now, in the vault. You just told me um, before, oh, I forgot. Um, so, you celebrated your birthday at Adventure World because which we haven't been to for a while. It is an awesome day. <laughs> if I'm doing a show called Awesome Source, I'm almost disappointed in myself that I didn't uh, like do it at Adventure World. Sure. Oh my God, could you do a show at Adventure World? Of course you could. Yeah, it's not too late. You can do anything. I used to host these concert series and dance parties at Adventure World. Yeah, they would do those night night ones, Adventure World after dark. Well, they do have... uh, I was there for my birthday and we got... um, We had to leave at the end of the day. I thought we'd maybe be there till lunchtime. We got there first thing, thought we'd be there till lunchtime. We were there till the end of the day, and then they said, yeah, you have to go because the nighttime people come in. There's an after hours. What are the 90s like? Imagine riding the Kraken. Um, There'll be people riding the Kraken. Oh, right. There's no greater joy than shoving your terrified daughter into a huge funnel. Yeah. I had a great time. I was pushing her. Let gravity do the rest. Can I just say right now, I had such a great time. I'm just going to put this out there because I know Everybody listens to yeah. you guys. Adventure World. Mm. If you're listening, yes, I would love to be like uh, I used to be number one ticket holder for the Dogs. Oh, you want to be a number one ticket holder? For Could Adventure I be World? the number one ticket holder for, for Adventure, Adventure World? Oh, right now, I would. I would be like an ambassador. I could be. A, a, oh, you're giving it away for free. Can I just tell you right now? Partner. Right now, there is a platypus and a koala high fiving. <laughs> Uh, their names were Nick and Bill. <laughs> did you spend time in the suit, did you? Uh, I, as a kid, I loved Nick and Bill. Nick, Nick the koala, Bill the platypus with the two mascots. And I once wrote a, a note saying, could I get them to come to my house? Oh, right. And I was going to do a street parade. <laughs> I was going to have a little fake. Because we lived in a cold sack. sack. It's like, yeah, of course. You know, you're living it's the dream. For them. Uh, we could put up a bouncy castle. Nick and Bill could be there. And I got a letter back from Nick and Bill. Yes. I assume it was probably Nick. He had better penmanship. Yeah. <laughs> and they said, sorry, we're not we're not allowed to leave Adventure oh, World. But oh, here's, two, here's two free passes. Oh, oh, what a score. I've had such a great relationship. Again, yeah. Adventure World, if you're listening, number one ticket holder, <laughs> ambassador, <gasps> Uh, just spruker. I'll be a spruker. spruker. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know, oh, I could be. I'll be a mascot. I will just. I'll walk around in the dragon suit. They've got like a dragon. Yes. Would you dra- stand next to like the entrance to the um to the roller coaster? The rolls, I could say so you have height. to be this high. I'm exactly. not. You have to be. Oh, <laughs> they could have right. guys. They could have cardboard cutouts of, you. of me around you the park. You have to be rove height, rove height to get on rampage. <laughs> well, no, you won't be able to get on the rampage. I wouldn't be able to. <laughs> I think you're missing the point. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have a, the cardboard cutout has a very sad face. Yeah. Yeah. If you're this high, yeah. you can't go on anything. Oh, when I grow up, I can't wait to get on a bus. Rose, yeah. where, where did uh, Ruby uh, sit in that? Because she, is she, she just flying down the... So she, she went to go uh, on the crack and we were there with yeah. uh, my brother and his family, their kids, and so they wanted to get on the crack and the big, amazing water slide. Yeah. 
And so my Ruby, who's not a thrill seeker, went, I'm coming too. I thought this is going to go horribly wrong. It's this, the, you get on the, the rubber thing that's like, it's like a cross. And so because she's decided she wants to come too, it's three children under the age of, or nine or under. Yes. And me. <laughs> and Ruby's like, I and think. And you're the shortest one. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I, we've gone down. And then because I'm the heaviest, I'm being pulled backwards. Yes. So all I can see is three children with the look of fear in their <laughs> eyes, screaming their lungs out. They came out, okay, everyone's fine. And then we went to go on one of the lesser sort of yes. uh, water slide rides. And Ruby's like, look, look, looked down the tunnel. And it must have done that thing like they do in movies and cartoon shows where it just extends yes. 3D yep. style. And she has turned around and yelled at me, what do you expect me to do? I've just been on the Kraken! <laughs> but to her credit, I said, this one isn't as tough. Her cousin went first. She said, I heard the screams. They were terrified screams. But they were also inspiring. Oh, wow. And she went down and she did it. Amazing. Oh, I mean, I was shit scared. I didn't do it. I was like, I'm no fool. I'm not going down. <laughs> the last time we were all there together was the opening of the abyss. Yeah, that's yes, right. yes, and yes. And Sean was very Oh, scared. yeah. I, I hate um, roller coasters. <laughs> Well, you, you are. So you put me through, the, you put me through the mill. Gutless little man, aren't you? About a lot of things. He was so <laughs> pathetic. Well, was, I went. His up, eyes shut. We did. All all the way. Oh, you did. They, did they take a photo? Because they take a yeah, photo. Yeah, many yeah, many photos. We videoed yeah, the whole thing. Because there's a part in the dark when you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you come out. Yeah. You come out the out shed. You yeah. come out the shed yeah. part, and that's usually where the camera is. And then you go directly up, and then straight up, vertical, straight down. We all love abyss. Adventure world. We love abyss. And then so the my niece went on. She's nine, and we're thinking this is not a good idea. No. But she's like, I want to, I want to be part of it. I'm getting on abyss. So I thought, well, let's commemorate the moment by getting a photo of her it, when it comes out the shed. So I'm doing a point like, here we yeah. go. No flash has gone off, oh. and I went. They probably they've moved the camera, yeah. That, so it goes where the the drop is because yes. that makes more sense. So I'm holding this pose, like, <laughs> look at her with this big grin. Couldn't see a camera, and I went. Well, they probably moved it. <laughs> Got off the ride and the booth that you collect your yes. photos from has said, sorry, the Abyss camera's not <gasps> oh. in use. So I have spent the entire Posing ride with finger guns, <laughs> double trigger finger pointing <laughs> at a small child with the biggest grin on my face. <laughs> That people probably who the were looking at the abyss would have been going, is that right? He is frozen in, <laughs> like, joyous fear. He looks like he's having a great time, but he hasn't moved. Such a great oh, day, an awesome so day, oh. if you will. Did you like Adventure World? Oh. I'll just let so if, How much do you love Adventure World? Call now. <laughs> <laughs> or if you're from Adventure World, don't Seriously, no, no. If you're from Adventure World, I want to get in touch with you. you oh, mate, where, they'll you, be getting in touch with you. You know where to you, find my people. Know. Nathan, Nat and Sean in podcast form. Now, yes. Ro, I've got a question for you, and this has been ongoing for years, and recently it's raised its head again. We feel like mm. we manifested it. Um, mm. We speak about Tony Collette quite a lot here of course you do. on the show because she's <laughs> an Australian treasure. <laughs> she is an icon. She's an icon. So uh, she's now in Perth. Do you know that? No, I, well, I thought she, big last week. she she uh, used to live around the back of our place in Sydney, <laughs> like, like in the granny flat. <laughs> She's your neighbour. <laughs> yeah, she was just in the chicken coop for the camera <laughs> listening earlier today. If you missed it, download the podcast. Um, it was um, yeah, we we were back. So she was in the street. Yes. One, one back from yeah. us, uh, from the beach. <laughs> and, oh, um, <laughs> further away from the beach. <laughs> but she, she sold, she did sell uh, just before we did, and I didn't know she's come here. So um, did you ever see her around the around no, the, not Down around. the shops or anything? No. no. Do, no. We, do we know where she is? What? Well, no. She was, I mean, she, she was um, had three suitcases. Looked like she was going to be here for a while. Um, oh. And she didn't look... Actually, so she she's like the new from Kate the photo Walsh. we saw, she didn't look happy to be That's here. That's right. And as far as we know, she wasn't here for the UFC, <laughs> yes. which everybody else oh. was Because we actually thought, <laughs> she's that, a, we thought she she's was a fighting. big Logan Paul fan. No, we thought she was fighting. Oh, Travis <laughs> Fimmel. She followed Travis yeah, Fimmel. Tony, Tony Collette can do anything. Um, Are you on Collette Watch at the moment? Oh, look, we know. When people, when celebrities come over, we like to just leave them alone. Cool about you it. So you're like, you like hanging out with them all the time usually. Yeah. Oh, like, so well, Kate Walsh is best friends. Yeah, Kate Walsh is best friends. You know. friends. <laughs> best friends with her. But that doesn't happen naturally through yeah. the radio. <laughs> um, it just says everyone meets their friends. Well, I don't have a direct contact for Tony. Well, but if oh. I find anything. Oh, well, this is our question. Are we leading to something? We are, we are. We are. For years we've had an argument um, and um, I'm going to ask you the question oh. outright. Oh. I'm going to ask you the question outright. Question without notice. Could I take Tony Collette in a fight? Well, 
No. And no, you could have. <laughs> we all know the answer on, to mate. that. We wanted that. We, we wanted to be surprised by the answer. <laughs> all right. Tony Collette, yes. right? Who is more famous out of Tony Collette uh-huh. and Alan Iverson? Worldwide. Worldwide, worldwide to the person on the street. <laughs> worldwide. Worldwide. No, we're, no worldwide. Idea. That's no, it. Yeah, no, we're saying worldwide. Worldwide. We're saying worldwide. Worldwide. Oh, get in the back. It's got dead. It's Tony Collette. No one knows her around the world. Six cents. Around the Six world. Around the world. Six Six cents. Her body of work speaks for itself. You lived in the US. The many shades you lived of in time. The US, mate. We, we, you know AI. Oh, Sean, Sean, Tara. we accept the yeah. US. We're talking about worldwide. Worldwide. Other countries. Six cents was shown in all of them. Okay, here's what I was waiting for. Who is more famous? Yeah. Or, or who is more known? This is the way it was coming out in my brain, not knowing where this was headed. <laughs> you, you did, you did, With the did. same sense of gravitas. <laughs> Rove McManus. Without any kind of <laughs> thought process leading into this question, sight unseen, who is more famous to the average person on the street? Worldwide. Worldwide. Tony Collette or Colette? Oh, <laughs> you can read my bell. Wow. See, in that case, I go, oh, wow. maybe Colette, maybe <laughs> Colette, maybe <laughs> just Colette. <laughs> wow. It's hands down Tony Collette. It's no, absolutely it's actually would, not even close. You would, you, if you like, if it's she... It's not even close. If no, you no, just you're were, just saying it because you're into sport. If you no, were no, Tony... If you were Tony, Tony Collette yeah. adjacent... Yes. Like, if you were just somewhere in her gravitational pull, <laughs> you would you would just, oh, what's that crackle in? There's like a feeling you something... What would you feel if Alan Iverson so. was next to you? I wouldn't just pick him like out of it. Like, I have no LeBron fan. But I wouldn't pick him out of a lineup. Like, I wouldn't be able to go... If you... You showed me five Natalie, basketball players. I'd be honest, I watched, you, I'd be able to pick him out of a lineup. I watched the documentary and I still wouldn't be able to pick him up at a lineup. Does, 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 who are we talking about again? Tony, Tony Collette. Don't even oh, try that. I hope, oh, I, hope, I, hope, I hope she What's treated him for movie? that. What's the best movie? What do you mean? Six Muriel's six. Wedding is what introduced the world to Tony Collette. Did six she win six. the MVP when Michael Jordan was playing? <laughs> Thank you. Rest my Hereditary. United States of Tara. Oh, amazing. 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 Great show. She was amazing. You know, I don't do scary movies. I know, and that's your yeah. problem. I don't do basketball, but, but I did it. You know, United States of Tara is not even a scary movie. She no. did do that. What was the... Remember the, the creature that peed on what was the people when she was <laughs> right. <laughs> what was... <laughs> that was a bizarre one. What was the one with the, the weird cult that was living in her cubby house? Spoilers. In the back house. She had the, the two kids. She would make mini dioramas, the film that she made, like <laughs> scary little dioramas of things. <laughs> no, was that hereditary? No. Hereditary. Was that hereditary? Hereditary. Yeah. With, that, with, the, with the face? Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a... You got... You need to see oh, that. Oh, that's it. Right. I, I forgot all them. about the dioramas. She's <laughs> making she was, tiny dioramas. She made dioramas. I love that that's what you focused Couldn't on. It was, it. It was like she was dioramas. basically doing she was Lego. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, you know that movie where she did a lot of craft? <laughs> you know, she did this crafting with toys. <laughs> oh, and had, she was playing. She got to, it was that really cool movie where she got to play with toys. <laughs> How did you step puzzle the horror and go straight <laughs> to the, <laughs> the miniature craft. model building? How is that not scary? Like, we're looking into, my wife walks into my bedroom, but my study, and there's just toys everywhere. It's terrifying. <laughs> like a skill test. She's waiting for a claw to grab her in. Oh, my God. Uh, Pick her up. All right. Tony well, there Collette. you go, Sean. Definitive yep. answer. Definitive no, it's not. Definitive it's answer. Not. I'll never argue with Rove, but this, on this occasion, I will. Wow. All right, will. Tony Collette, if you're listening, apologies. <laughs> yeah, um, do not drag all McManus's not. down. I know, that's <laughs> right. And most of us are on your side, Tony Collette. Just give us a call. Um, <laughs> The reason we've had Rove in this morning mm. is to promote his show, not to uh, promote his ambas- ambassadorship. Disagree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my show Awesome Source, which is uh, happening now. Now, a question to you guys. Yes, Rove. If I said to you... Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who's more famous? Who's more famous? <laughs> Tony Collette or the phrase Awesome Source? Or like, Tony Galati. <laughs> if to go around the group, do we know what the phrase Awesome Source means? I awesome source, have awesome announced source. the name of my, okay. my awesome current source. show and my lead, but first question I get from most people is... I've never heard the term. I've, I've heard, heard awesome the- source, and I've heard it because it was on Parks and Rec um, uh-huh. when Andy um, April says to Andy, "I love you," and Andy says, "Awesome, awesome source. source" back to her. Deep is, cut. That's is, a deep cut reference. Is that, is that the reference? It's not specifically that, but yes, that's it's it. It's, it's not just when so, something's not just awesome. Yes, it's better than yes, awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Source. It's awesome source. with source. Yeah, yes. very big one um, in the states. I had a lot of American friends would use as like, oh, that's awesome source. Oh, and okay. of course, the the opposite of that is weak source. Okay, <laughs> weak source. can I talk to you <laughs> about what is an awesome source in your opinion? Here we what go. Is an awesome source? Yes. What is yeah, the best we, source? It's a very in your opinion. Um, I'm into at the moment. <laughs> 
Frank's Red Hot. I don't know. S- well. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the Tony Collette of sauce. Red Hot. I don't. Red Hot okay. what? Red Hot what? The, the Red Hot sauce that they yeah, have. No. Yeah, I'm not a hot sauce. I really wish I was yeah. a hot sauce person. It's not, it's not super hot, though. You can get those poo the bed things. And Frank, if you're listening... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Imagine having that in Adventure World. Adventure World would be so... <laughs> oh, just yeah, it yeah, would be yeah, awesome, though. We're doing, we're doing I'm clear. surprised that, that barbecue sauce is back in vogue. When I was younger... I when I was younger... Yeah. Um, Barbecue sauce was a very big deal, yes. and it kind of went out of fashion. I'm a fan yeah. of I, and now I will take I find barbecue maybe it's an age tomato. thing, but yeah. all my nieces and nephews yeah. in mm. particular, if you don't have barbecue sauce, I will do a barbecue like sauce if it's a hickory. Yeah, well, oh, that's, it's, it's better if you're than having a bacon and eggs sanger. No, no a lot of them used to come in tomato yes. sauce, but now they're yes. barbecue, no, no, barbecue sauce. You would always go barbecue sauce. Yeah, I'm a barbecue sauce, through and through. Where do you sit on that one? A barbecue sauce on a or. In, in barbecue sauce on a like egg and bacon yes. sort of thing. Well, Absolutely. Sean said bacon and egg, so yeah. Yeah. Different. Like, I once said uh, Bert and, uh, Ernie and Bert. Everyone's like, oh. "What are you talking about?" <laughs> I said uh, Ernie, Ernie and Bert from Sesame Street. No, it's Bert, Bert and Ernie. Ernie. Do you Ernie do you Bert, say Costello uh, and, and Abbott? Ernie and Bert. No. Bert and Ernie. How do I say it? It's Bert and Ernie. I know. Ernie it's, yeah, and Bert. I say I say Ernie and Bert. It's like watching Nathan trying to rub his tummy. <laughs> <and> <laughs> his <laughs> and here's a controversial one. Sean sure and I were talking about this before. Chico roll. Oh, come sauce on, mate. Yeah, no sauce. Sad. We've, sauce we've discussed no It's sad. actually been proven. Do you remember? Sad. So, the Rove, stats. it's a family come thing over. that we thought, well, I in particular thought everyone had tomato sauce, sauce on your Chico roll. So, Rove is tomato yes. sauce. Yes. Tell Rove, Rove what sauce. the kind of stats were. Sam, you did the poll. Uh, uh, it was less than 1% tomato sauce. Less than one. Yeah. And was, all uh, of the people that responded to that were McManuses. <laughs> <laughs> it was just me and Jordan. Like the, the data was incoherent. It was that. It was that. It was that small. Oh, no, I don't trust data. It's and the, it was mostly <laughs> like 60, survey, survey, sixty percent was just like plain raw dog. Yeah, just. And yeah. then the, <laughs> I think it was like thirty percent was just salt. And then yeah, it was mostly just yeah. plain. Yeah, it's come from straight the, from the out of the desert. Ninety percent was. People were interested in vinegar. Yeah, ninety percent was. What? They yeah. have get it from the Tony Collette with a chico roll. Just because you get vinegar, it from I would not put vinegar in. You know, I would not. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just. <laughs> but I know. But you're saying some ridiculous things. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, you think you think you know the yes. world? Yes. Yeah, it's I like know. Sean. But that's your own it's little like bubble. Your little like Manus yes. cult. That's right. There's more outside. Where you guys come from. Anyway, um, look, I don't talk about this at all in my show, and now I wish I was. <laughs> <laughs> I wish there was far more well, actual source discussion. Maybe talk, maybe talk it about that right in front of, of your wife. <laughs> yes, it was right in front of your face. Go oh, have what a am I double doing? to give away to Rove's show <laughs> tomorrow night at oh, Oasis yeah. Comedy Club, which is upstairs at the Brisbane Hotel. It's a great night Gr- at a great venue. 13, 24, 10. We'll give it a call at 10. All right, and if you want to pay to go and see it, any tickets left or are you sold out? Uh, I think you, uh, certainly tomorrow I know there are tickets available. Yeah. Uh, yes, through uh, fringeworld.com. And someone that's you. going to the um, show, bring him a bottle of Frank, what is it, Frank? Frank, Frank hot Red Hot. So- red Hot Sauce. Um, anyone from... Adv- if, uh, Adventure y- World. If Yali the Dragon is listening. Or Yalet. Or Yalet from Adventure World. Uh, by all means, please. I, I can give you maybe half price, not a full comp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not until I'm officially ambassador. This is You'll get they can pay. Hold the dragons to ransom. They can pay. They've got a castle. They've got that adventure world yeah, money. They're, they're very fine. Come on, they mate. Are Come fine. on, mate. It's a big piece of land. <laughs> Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.